cut across to external affairs minister S. Jay Shankar addressing the media with his uh, foreign counterpart. They will be issuing a joint statement uh, in just a short while from now. External affairs minister is hosting his visiting German counterpart for uh, wide-ranging talks, strengthening cooperation between the two countries. Foreign minister of Germany is in India for a two-day visit. Bilateral trade and climate change are on top of the agenda for the two leaders. It was this morning that uh, the German foreign minister arrived in the country. She's here on a two-day visit. Just four days, in fact, after India officially took over the presidency of the G20. Cooperation between the two countries bilaterally, strengthening cooperation for a changing world order is also something that is on the cards. In a statement that was issued by Germany uh, just before the finance minister, the foreign minister, I beg your pardon, landed in New Delhi, she said that Germany and India are natural partners. Also going on to set the stage for what India's G20 presidency will look like. German foreign minister came out and said that India will definitely have a decisive influence in shaping the international order and the G20 is just one way of doing so. We are going to be seeing the two leaders address uh, the media that's gathered there in just a few minutes from now. Several key agreements being signed there. The statement, uh, the joint statement, which also will be released, also being signed by the two leaders, I believe, as we see on our screens. This is happening here in the national capital on a day that uh, Sherpas of uh, the G20 nations are also meeting, uh, focusing on technology, on innovation and of emerging economies in Udaipur, in Rajasthan. Meanwhile, the Prime Minister is also going to be building consensus as far as India, India's G20 presidency goes. He will be meeting all political party representatives and, of course, uh, chief ministers of various states in this evening as well. Before now, it is uh, focus is on ties between India and Germany with S. Shankar, the Indian affairs, uh, the for external affairs minister, meeting his German counterpart. Political editor Maria Shakil is with me for more on this. Uh, and Maria, it is uh, India redefining a global order, isn't it? Maria? I believe we do not have that line with my colleague uh, Maria Shakil there. We'll try and reconnect. But uh, these are visuals on your screens coming in from the national capital. We are standing by for Thank external you. affairs minister S.J. Shankar to just begin. The joint press interaction beginning with press statements by our ministers. May I now request Honorable External Affairs Minister Dr. S. Jashankar to make his remarks to the media. Sir. Um, Minister Annalena Baerbock, members of the Indian and German delegations, friends from the media. Uh, it's a great pleasure to uh, address you all at the conclusion of our talks uh, today. So, uh, let me say to the minister that I deeply appreciate her visit, uh, which of course comes just as we are concluding this year. Uh, I think we have uh, met on a number of occasions uh, at the Intergovernmental Commission, uh, at the Munich Security Conference, uh, at Paris during the Bali meeting, uh, on the sidelines of the UN General Assembly. Uh, so it's uh, really been uh, uh, a very intensive but a very rewarding uh, interaction throughout this year and I'm truly glad that we are concluding that uh, minister with your visit uh, to India. Uh, I know that uh, there's been a bit of a gap since you were last here in, in your personal capacity uh, and I'm happy that you will also have a chance tomorrow to go around a little bit and see some of the changes uh, which have taken place here. Um, India and Germany have a uh, long history of close and warm relations. Uh, we are marking the 70th uh, year of the establishment of our diplomatic relationship last year. And our strategic partnership, which is more than two decades old, uh, has really been bolstered by uh, greater political exchanges, ever-expanding trade, more investment, uh, and a stronger people-to-people -people relationship. 2022 has been uh, a year of particular note for us. Uh, we've held the sixth uh, in India-Germany intergovernmental consultations in Berlin in May. Uh, and this was the first since the current government in Germany, uh, led by Chancellor Scholz, uh, came to power. Uh, and this unique mechanism of the IGC 
uh, it has it's really ensured a whole of the government uh, interaction with multiple ministers on both sides uh, meeting the counterpart and it was notable that uh, we saw the launch of the india germany partnership on green and sustainable development and i think uh, in our conversations today uh, actually uh, sdgs and uh, climate issues even though that's not my direct jurisdiction uh, these were uh, also part of our discussions now the igc gave me an opportunity to uh, spend time uh, with minister bebok in uh, berlin at that time and i really thank you uh, again for uh, the uh, warmth of your hospitality then and for the time that you uh, set aside for us to uh, discuss things now uh, today uh, we have uh, really uh, spent the morning exchanging views on uh, the major international issues of the day apart from our bilateral relationship uh, and uh, this included the conflict in uh, ukraine the uh, indo pacific strategic situation uh, developments pertaining to afghanistan and uh, pakistan to some degree uh, iran syria Uh, and really each one of us uh, brought to this set of issues uh, our perspectives uh, and i think at least uh, i can say this i found it uh, very useful very rewarding uh, to listen to your uh, perspectives on many matters we also briefly touched upon uh, the multilateral issues you all know that india and germany interact in the framework of the g4 uh, when it comes to the reform of the un security council Uh, we had a discussion on india's g20 presidency uh, which comes just as germany itself is concluding a very successful g7 presidency uh, and uh, i know that we have uh, germany's uh, strong support uh, as we take up um, uh, our uh, responsibility in the g20 uh, among the issues we discussed was also uh, cooperation uh, in third countries Uh, in other regions uh, i think today our relationship has matured to a point where our cooperation should be visible more and more to the rest of the world uh, so that was uh, something we discussed how can we make this happen uh, more effectively we already have some projects uh, in cameroon in ghana and malawi and peru uh, but the idea was really uh, how can we be doing very much more uh, i also welcome germany's decision Uh, to participate in the india pacific oceans initiative that we had announced in uh, 2019 uh, where our uh, economic ties are concerned you all know that india for uh, india germany is our largest partner in the eu i think we both recognize that the business climate today the business enthusiasm today is very much stronger uh, and we certainly as foreign ministers would like to channelize that and use it Uh, as a positive source of energy uh, for the relationship uh, we are today uh, supporting the uh, india eu negotiations on trade investment and geographical indicators we hope that they will progress so well uh, the third round of negotiations on the fta uh, has just concluded uh, but and, uh, i think in a on a broader scale uh, i think both of us uh, spent time talking about how to create more reliable and resilient supply chains in the digital world how to encourage more trust and transparency i think we have a common interest india and germany uh, in uh, in ensuring uh, uh, not just a stronger global economy but also a more secure uh, global economy uh, so uh, so as you can see uh, on this range of issues really it's been a very productive morning Uh, there was uh, some talk uh, between us on people to people relationships we have just signed the uh, migration and mobility partnership agreement uh, and i do think that this will be a very strong signal uh, for a greater not just a greater uh, flow of talent and skills between our two societies but i think